So today we're going to look at how to find local and absolute maximum and minimum values or local and ex uh, local and absolute extreme of values. Um, so a local maximum or a local minimum is a point in which, so if it's a maximum, it's a point in which it's higher than all of the points just around it. So it doesn't have to be the highest point in the function. It just has to be higher than all points immediately around it. And a local minimum value is similarly a value that is lower than all points immediately around it. So if we're taking a look at this graph here, we want to find a local maximum value. Now maxima, that's the plural for maximum. And you are allowed to have multiple local maximum and minimum values. But you're actually only allowed to have one absolute maximum and minimum. So the absolute maximum is the highest value, the largest value on our graph, and then the absolute minimum is the lowest that our graph ever reaches. So if we're looking for local maxima, we're looking for points that are higher than all points around them. So we can see this point 3, 6 here is, if we look at some interval around 3, 6, is going to be higher than all other points immediately around it. So that's going to be our first local maxima, so 3, 6. Uh, we actually do have another local maxima, and it's the end point here. Um, because even though there's no other points on the right, on the left-hand side, this point is higher than all other points around it. So 5, 5 is also a local maxima. For local minima values local minima values, we're looking for values that are lower than all points immediately surrounding them. So if we're looking at the point 0, 1, you can see that on the interval anywhere immediately around it, um, it's lower than all possible points. Right? There's nothing to the left of it, but all the points that are to the right of it, it is lower than. So that's our first local Minima, 0, 1. Um, there's actually another local minima on here, here at 4, 4, because again, in the interval immediately surrounding it, 4, 4 is lower than all of those points. So those are our local maxima and minima. Now, a local maxima and a local minima can also be the absolute maximum and minimum values. So we're trying to look at this graph and we're asking ourselves, well, what is the absolute highest point on this graph? So if we're looking for the absolute highest point on this graph, we can see that it happens right here at 3, 6. So our absolute maximum is 3, 6. The absolute minimum is the lowest point on our graph. So the very bottom, the very lowest point our graph reaches. And we can see that here at 0, 1. So in this case, we do have local maxima and minima, and we do have absolute maxima and minima, which is not always going to be the case. And you'll see that in some of these examples. So let's take a look at this example. Uh, we're only given this one point, and then we see that it's curving up uh, forever. So we want to take a look at all of the local maxima values. So if you're looking at this graph, is there any given point that is higher than all points surrounding it? Well, this arrow is telling us that this point, or sorry, this graph is going on forever. So we can't use this point as a local maxima. And actually, there are no local maxima because this graph is continuing upward forever. There's actually not any point that is higher than all other surrounding points. So there is none in terms of local maxima. So the local minima, the lowest, um, the lowest point of any surrounding points, uh, happens here at 0, 0. So on this interval, we can see that 0, 0 is lower than all other points. So we do have a local minima, 0, 0. Now the absolute maximum. We saw that there were no local maximums, but are there? Is there an absolute maximum? Uh, and the answer is actually no because this graph is going off to infinity, right? We see that it's going off to infinity, which means that the highest value that it will ever reach 
never actually is reached because it's going on forever. So there is no absolute maximum value. Now what about an absolute minimum? Well this point here where our graph stops is the lowest point on our graph. Nothing gets lower than this point on our graph so it's a local minima and it's also our absolute minima.